Today, I'd like to update you on the Corporate Governance Group's activities related to the Timken Company. For years, CalSTRS has been a leader in the corporate governance world as an active and engaged shareholder. The majority of our proposals have revolved around traditional governance issues, such as majority voting, sustainability reporting, and greater diversity on corporate boards. This year, we've partnered with relational investors and filed a proposal to split the Timken Company. We view this as a natural evolution of our corporate governance strategy since failing to maximize shareholder value, as is the case with Timken, is one of the worst corporate governance offenses. In the case of Timken, the company suffers from what the market calls a conglomerate discount. In this instance, Timken has two distinct businesses, a ball bearings business and a steel business. Because bearings is the larger of the segments, the market generally classifies Timkins as an industrial company, which is covered by industrial analysts, whereas steel businesses are generally followed by materials analysts. In addition, the steel and bearing businesses no longer have the synergies that once justified having these two businesses combined. Because of the disconnect in Timken's businesses, industrial analysts will generally evaluate and value the bearings business and then place a standard steel industry multiple on the steel business to determine a value for the entire company. However, Timken's steel business is not an average steel company that would trade at the market average. Timken Steel is a high-quality, high-margin specialty steel that would trade at a premium to the steel industry. As long as Timken is traded as one business, the market will discount the value of the steel business and undervalue Timken. We believe the discount locked into Timken shares is directly related to governance issues at the company. Timken was founded in 1899 by Henry Timken, and the Timken family still holds around 10% of the company's stock. However, three members of the Timken family serve on the board, which is clearly disproportionate to their economic interest of only 10%. They include Executive Chairman Ward Tim Timken, Jr., his father, and former Executive Ward Timken, and their cousin, John Timken, Jr. Most surprisingly, an illustrative of the Timken family control is the fact that the board has designated John Timken as an independent director and has allowed him to serve on the audit committee. We believe the board's reluctance to truly evaluate and consider a split is directly a result of the family's influence on the board. Timken is an iconic Ohio company and has a strong presence in the Canton area. Before joining this engagement, Calster's staff carefully evaluated the social and economic impacts of a split and determined there would be no negative impacts to employment. The majority of the changes relating to the split will be at the executive level, which will require duplicated executive structures. For the average employee, there will be no change. Employees will go to the same buildings, sit at the same desk, and work with the same people. We believe both companies will continue to be headquartered in Canton, will keep the Timken name, and will have Timken family serve on both boards. Calsters and Relational announced our campaign on November 28, 2012, when we filed a joint 13D as required by the SEC rules, since, as a group, we held more than 5% of the company stock. The market reacted very positively with Timken stock jumping more than 12% upon the announcement and is currently up nearly 40%. The Timken annual meeting will be held on May 7th in Canton, Ohio. Calster staff will attend the meeting to present our proposal. Based on the positive investor and analyst feedback we have received, we are confident the proposal will receive broad shareholder support, but it remains a difficult project given the large holdings of the family. After the meeting, we will evaluate the results and actions by the company to determine our next steps. Calsters will have more clarity and will provide further updates at the Calsters June Investment Committee meeting. Thank you.